It's time for the Cowboys to consider trading Dak Prescott. According to For the Win, I mean, I don't even know this website. I'm pretty sure that means For the Win, right? Anyways, For the Win, usatoday.com, they apparently want the Cowboys to trade Dak Prescott for a first round pick. Yes, a first round pick to try to get Ua Tagovet. I don't even know how to say that. Oh, apparently his full name is. Twaniga Manula Belola Tago. I don't fucking. Oh my god. Henry McKenna. This, this this guy right here apparently wants the Cowboys to trade for Berthcott for a first round pick to get this guy in the next year's NFL draft. Now the website does make some important key notes on why Pre Prescott should be traded somewhere else. In the article, they show this graphic here by next gen stats by the nfl showing that prescott's passer rating throughout the field is mostly within the average what i was most surprised about this stats seeing the first time seeing this is prescott is above better than average throwing deep in the middle and to the right of the field worse than average on the check down on the left side of the field I don't know if Hendry is a Cowboys fan, but I believe he fears that that Prescott is a one-hit wonder. More like quarterbacks Joe Flacco, Derek Carr, and Andy Dalton. And I quote, This number has been declining since he signed the deal in 2014. On his rookie deal, he averaged over almost 4,000 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, and 60 interceptions. After he got his contract extension, he averaged only 3,300 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. And the team has gone worse from since ha being 10 and 5 and 1 in 2014 to 5 and 8 in 2018. I'm guessing that's when Andy Dalton got injured and that's why they have 5 and 8 on there instead of 5 and 11. And they also make some good points on quarterbacks that were bad or that, that they struggled for one or two years and then they got better in the future. Such as Russell Wilson, he struggled to carry a team in 2016 in his first year after his rookie deal contract, but he came and figured it out in 2017 and 2018. Ben Roethlisberger, the Steelers quarterback, his 08 season featured his lowest completion percentage, tied for his lowest touchdown total, and featured his fourth most interceptions. Since then, Roethlisberger has improved every single year with AB and Le'Veon Bell, of course, helping him out. Now, the article states that which is Prescott most likely to become? Will he become the cap-sucking franchise sinker like Flacco or find his way after a few years like Wilson? Or will he become elite like Breeze? Our article is leaning more towards that Prescott being a one-hit wonder because the article doesn't believe that that Prescott deserves $30 million a year, which in my opinion, he does not deserve it yet. If that Prescott does, has similar stats to last year or worse, I don't believe Prescott doesn't deserve the $30 million that supposedly he's going to get, or maybe even more than that. But if he does improve, if everything improves from last year, his completion percentage, his touchdowns, his passer rating, all that good stuff, then I believe that he does deserve the $30 million a year, possibly even more, $35 million. Prescott has no more excuses now this year. He has a lot of supporting cast. He has a healthy Ezekiel Elliott, a healthy O-line, hopefully a healthy O-line. He has Randall, a good slot wide receiver in Randall Cobb. He has top five linebackers in the league, potentially a top 10 defense coming in next year. Prescott has no more excuses. If that Prescott doesn't improve his game this year, that his time in Dallas has to come to an end.